Well, how in the world are you? Pastor Ed here for uh, our weekly devotion. Um, topic that may be catchy for some, misconceptions about angels and uh, the bad angels, demons. The March issue of the Lutheran Witness has an article in it. It's about angels and demons, so I thought this would be a good opportunity to share some information about the good and the bad angels. I start with a question. Is Satan real? Well, if you believe the Bible, the Bible mentions him 33 times in the New Testament and the word devil is used 40 times. So that begins, and what does the Bible teach about angels and demons? So, Matthew 18 reads, See that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I tell you, this is Jesus speaking, I tell you in heaven, their angels see the face of my Father who is in heaven. Jesus is saying there that the angels are in the presence of God and they will carry out his commands. And they make the will of God in heaven happen on earth. And so Hebrews 1 describes angels as ministering spirits sent by God to serve his people even in our public worship or church services. And if you look at some of their names, that makes sort of the same point. The Bible always uses names to uh, portray purpose of a person's life or their mission. St. Michael the Archangel means who is like God, and Gabriel means God is my strength. And the angels are at the beck and the call of God. And so when we pray the morning and evening prayers written by Martin Luther, we pray this, for God to let his holy angel be with us. Psalm 148 uh, tells us about the angels of creation. It reads there, Praise him, all his angels, for he commanded, and they were created. And he established them forever and ever. So the angels are created uh, beings by God. And the angel uh, word comes from the Greek, and which means messenger. So the word angel, again, their, their name, messenger, is the description of what they actually do. And there are important distinctions, though, between humans and angels. Human beings are the crown of God's creation. And so of no other creature did God say, let us make man in our own image, or did God breathe into the breath of life anyone other than man? Angels exist as spirits to serve God and us, his people. And we are the ones given the privilege to rule over his creation. So the good angels, they know and they follow the wisdom of God. That wisdom, of course, is revealed only through Christ to his church. And they serve us gladly because they know we are heirs of heaven. We are heirs to the salvation that Christ has won for us. And so they serve gladly the will and the authority of God as mighty ones, as they're described in both Psalm 103 and 2 Thessalonians 1 verse 7. No doubt you have wondered where the notion of a guardian angel for the children of God comes from. Well, I think Psalm 91 verses 11 and 12 helps us here. There it reads, He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up lest you strike your foot against a stone. 
So there are good angels, but there's also powerful, evil angels of Satan. They are not our friends. Ephesians 2.2 says, You once walked following the course of this world, following the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that is now at work in the sons of disobedience. Satan and his angels hold unbelievers captive in their sin. And it's only the faithful, those born again in Christ, who are able to withstand the temptation of the evil and angels, not through our own strength, but through the power of God. These evil angels, they tempt us with sin and immorality, but that's not all. They also want us to suffer and despair in our sin and whenever possible not trust our baptism, not trust the promises of God and even forget that we are a child of God and forgiven heirs of heaven. There are bunches and bunches of angels. The Bible says legions of angels. Daniel 7 verse 10 numbers 10,000 times 10,000 angels. Luke 2.13 speaks of a great company of the heavenly hosts. But even with these large numbers, we're totally unaware of the angels most of the time. Unlike human beings, angels do not marry, they do not have children, they are immortal beings and messengers of God. Besides a whole bunch of them, there are classes and orders of angels. So you know the terms, I think. Uh, you've heard about cherubim, seraphim. Thrones, powers, rulers, authorities, and archangels. And Satan, of course, he's a copycat. He has ranks and classes of evil angels based upon his own title as the prince of the devils. So Satan is the chief evil angel, and he's the prince of demons described by Jesus as a murderer from the beginning, not holding the truth for there is no truth in him. Why in the world would you ever want to serve Satan? And when he lies, he speaks his own language, for he is a liar, and the father of lies, says the Gospel of John. So we have a great enemy, and we have a great savior. Satan prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. And every person who does not believe the good news of Jesus Christ lives in the devil's kingdom and under his power. The very fact that the world does not realize this and many deny it, that of course is the devil's greatest deception. Devil is absolutely deceptive, and he will even disguise himself as an angel of light. And so his Old Testament name, again going back to what a name means, Lucifer, it means light bearer. The church is privileged to have the angels of God surround us and protect us while working God's good and perfect will in our lives. We need not fear Satan and his angels because Jesus has ransomed us by his death, saved us for eternal life, not in hell, but in heaven. And so, as we celebrated last week in the resurrection of Jesus, uh, as we celebrate on Easter the resurrection of Jesus and we say every time we confess the creeds that Jesus went down and preached victory even in hell uh, as part of his resurrection. So, Satan is an evil spirit, the father of lies. The world is following him lockstep. 
May Jesus be your Savior. May Jesus create and strengthen the faith that enables us all to overcome the temptations and the power of the devil. Looking forward to an inheritance that's prepared for us in heaven with all the angels, the archangels, and the hosts of heaven. Till we meet again, be a blessing this week. Pray for one another. Until then, I'll see you soon. Pastor Ed. See you.